Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anime Sensei here, and I'm going to be doing What If Naruto Was an Android Part 1. As also remember, Road to a 1000 by the end of the year, so it's time to get serious. Two videos per day, so expect another video out soon. Also, the delay with What If Naruto Was an Uchiha Part 2, I really don't get what's going on with it. I've tried uploading it. The past two days and it hasn't worked, so I'm gonna figure it out. But anyway, let's get straight into it. As we fast forward with Naruto, he's about about nine years old currently. As this happens, as he's running as fast as he can, as behind him is the angry mob of villagers with fire sticks in their hands. As they yell, uh, "Get back here, demon brat!" As they say, we won't hurt you, just come back. As Naruto's running as fast as he can, say, please don't hurt me. As suddenly Naruto's cornered into, cornered, suddenly the villagers start beating Naruto mercilessly. As by the time they had all left, Naruto was left with burns around his body and scars. As Naruto was pretty much almost dead. Suddenly, a man with white, whitish hair walked up and picked him up. As we fast forward a few hours later, where Naruto wakes up. As he feels different, suddenly he wakes up, saying, Where am I? As he can see a man with white hair and a beard answer his question. <laughs> well, you're in my lab. I am a motto. And, well, yes, I brought you after those villagers beat you up. I gotta say, kid, I'm surprised you survived. But then again, that seal of yours, I can see why you survived. As Norris is confused by this, as he doesn't know about the Nine Tails being in him. As a motto has realized he said too much, he tries changing the topic, saying, well, kid, I gotta say, making these upgrades were not that hard. As Naruto's confused, what enhancements are you talking about? What the? Am I? Am I dead? Are you what? Are you God? As Naruto starts freakishly pointing at Amato, as Amato says, No, no, kid, not at all. Sure, I'm a scientist, but I'm nowhere near a god. As Naruto says, then what do you mean by cybernetic upgrades? I mean, upgrades. As a motto, finally elaborates, saying, Well, you see, to keep you alive, I had to enhance your body a little bit. Basically, giving you parts of robots. Such as, well, see your arm? As Naruto looks towards his left arm, you can see that it's a metal arm. As Naruto starts panicking, saying, Ah, get off, get it off! As Naruto looks around at his whole body, you can see that there's some cybernetic parts on him. As Amato explains, saying, Yes, kid, in order to keep you alive, we have to do this, but hey, at least you're stronger now. As Naruto says, uh, but tell me, do you think the pink trash can's gonna stop messing with me? As Amato's confused, suddenly he does remember earlier that day he was walking around the village. He had seen a pink girl with hair. Next to a trash can, conveniently, for a second there, he had mistaken them for twins. <laughs> As he chuckles back, looking at, remembering that. As Amato says, mm, only if you allow her. Because, I mean, you could beat her up at this point. As also, the whole metal arm thing is against you too, kid. A cybernetic enhancement is where it's certain parts of your body, so like, this might look real, but it's not. It's a cybernetic hand. 
as Naruto says, fine with me. As Amato says, you know, Keiji, you should probably train with this before you leave. As Amato agrees to help Naruto train, as Naruto gets into his fighting stance, getting ready to fight, as Amato says, whoa, 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 buddy. Hold it. Cool it down. I'm not going to be fighting you. But I do have some Android to will. Introducing you to Code. As suddenly, a man with green hair, who seemed to look as if he was in his teens, somewhere between 17 and 18, emerges from the shadows as he introduces himself. I am Code. You, who are you? Snarto looks back. Saying, mm, you trail Kage. Naruto Uzumaki. As Naruto finally offers a handshake, as Code's confused on this, he accepts it anyway, awkwardly shaking back Naruto's hand. As Amato says, Well, Code, the reason why I brought you here is to train with him. Since he's gotten his new abilities, I think he should learn how to harness them. As if do y'all remember uh Kawaki's arm thing like from the anime? I forgot what it was called, but um it was like this little arm thing, like branch kind of thing with his arm. Naruto can do that. As before Naruto and Code start trading, Amado does say what he installed into Naruto. Hmm. Well number one, kid. You have Fire style, wind style, water style, and earth style. All basic elements. And lightning style, of course. With a few Kekagenkai, such as storm style, love style, boil release, and that's about it. I also did install something in your eye. A shotting yarn. Two shotting yarns. As Naruto looks in the mirror, he sees, what the, am I Uchiha? As Amato explains, no kid, you just have the eyes. As Naruto says, well duh old man, I was being sarcastic. As Amato says, listen kid, I could take this away in one snap, so don't test me. As Naruto says, whoa, 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 calm it, cool it down, cool off, cool off, cool off. As Naruto suddenly performs a fury of hand seals, firing off the fire style fireball jutsu as it had nearly destroyed Amato's lab if Code had not used a water style to quickly counter. As Amato suddenly presses a button, trapping Naruto and Code into a room to train him, just so it won't destroy the lab. As Amato says go, suddenly Naruto charges at Code, with Code charging back. As the hands clash, suddenly Naruto creates a shadow clone as the clone fires off a wind style gale palm, sending it towards Code. As Code was able to dodge it, Naruto suddenly comes near him, trying to drop kick him in the face. As he had failed, Code had grabbed Naruto's hand on your leg and started swinging him back, sending him flying into the wall. As Naruto had coughed up a little bit of blood, Suddenly, Code said, mm, You're pretty good with your technique. With more training, you could probably be even better than me. As Code charges at Naruto while firing a lightning style, lightning paralyzed jutsu, as he had thought that would have been enough to stop Naruto. As he was surprised at the fact that Naruto was still able to move. As the first time ever, he was shocked. What the? How could a kid do that? He said in his head. As Code and Naruto continue to spear, spar for a few more hours, we fast forward with the Hokage talking to Amato, as Amato had informed him of what happened. Well, Lord Hokage, as you know, Naruto is a monkey. 
nearly died, and since no one was there to help him, you seemed to make more insight. I thought I'd help him out myself by giving him cybernetic enhancements to keep him alive. Zora Third replies to him, Listen, it's not that easy being Hokage. And st- as suddenly Amato cuts him off, saying, Hokage, oh, my ain't no way that you can't take care of a little kid. Sha- what, do you not know the Shadow Clone Jutsu? You could watch it on until 24-7 and have a clone do the paperwork. Because that's literally all you do nowadays. So it's not like you don't have... Not, like, you have nothing to do, or Third. I'm going to be honest with you. You're just being lazy at this point. As Lord Third looks, thinks about it, and realizing that he hasn't been the best at all when it comes to taking care of Naruto. As Lord Third says, well, I'll adopt. As Amato says, don't even utter out those words. It's weird that it takes you up to now to realize that you need to take responsibility. I will take responsibility and will adopt Naruto. As Naruto was in the other room and had overheard this, as he actually had not minded the idea all that much. As we fast forward a few years later, Naruto's about 12, as at this point, Naruto's pretty OP, having two shotting guns, one that's a normal, three tamo, and an EMS while also having all the basic elements with three Kekigenkai, Storm style, Lava style, and Boil style. As at this point, most villagers had seen and felt a presence whenever Naruto was in sight, and actually started to respect him more as a ninja, as Naruto had gained some recognition around the village, such as from the council and other sources and people and also, people at the academy respected him a lot more now. And he was about equal or even more popular when it came to popularity than Sasuke. As this had specifically angered Sasuke, as he had seen Naruto with a shutting gun, thinking that a dope clanless loser should not have a shutting gun, as he felt only Uchiha should. As well, he's dead wrong. Not all the tree has have it. As Naruto one day is walking around the village, suddenly three Ambu from what seems to be the hidden Kylo village appear out of nowhere. Suddenly, they charge at Naruto all at once as Naruto's it would do an after image, moving so fast to the point where it left an after image. And he appeared behind them chopping one of them in the neck, knocking them out as well. The other one he had previously stabbed in the chest, pretty much killing him. But the last one, he decided he would deal with him accordingly. As he had charged at him, throwing a fury of kicks, as he had fired off a fire-style majestic destroyer flame, as it had disintegrated the man into pieces, as all that was left is his ashes. As Naruto looks down upon him, muttering the words of pathetic. As a few people had actually witnessed this, Kakashi and Amato and Lord Third. As Lord Third says, this is why we need you on this team, Kakashi. You're the only one who can really handle him. And yeah, you have some information on him. Because... The kid's 12 and he's doing the fire style with just destroyer flames. Like, if that isn't prodigy level like Madara Uchiha, then I don't know what is. As Naruto would purposely fail in the academy in certain parts, purposely, as this year specifically, he felt that Mizuki was up to something, as he had failed like usual, putting on his act. At least in school, as basically, Mizuki had approached him a few hours later after school saying, Hey Naruto, you know, there's actually an extra test 
that you'll be able to pass with. You get what I'm saying? This test was specifically made for the people who couldn't pass. So just to go take that and you basically all you have to do is get the scroll of ceiling. As Darnton knows what it is, but tries to play stupid saying scroll of ceiling. What the heck is that? As Mizuki explains to Naruto what the scroll of ceiling is. Naruto nods in agreement saying, Alright then Mizuki sensei, I'll do it. As a few hours later, Naruto had stolen the scroll and everyone in the village was currently looking for him. As we fast forward with Naruto by himself, as he had seen a few jutsu inside of the scroll that had interest to him. One jutsu called Lightning Style, Lightning Fang, and also the Shadow Clone Jutsu. As he also had seen two more, one being the Rasengan and the Flying Raichin. As Naruto had brought an extra scroll just to copy it down on his thing so he could try the technique out when he got a chance. As he had started copying it on the second scroll he had and tucked it into his pocket. As suddenly Mizuki had appeared. As suddenly he says, <laughs> Demon Brats, I don't actually think you'd be smart enough to show up. I mean, after all, you are the Nine Tails Jinjuriki. As Mizuki says this, Naruto simultaneously looks around. As he tries to act surprised, and then after a second says, Oh, man, I'm so surprised. <laughs> uh, as Naruto suddenly starts laughing hysterically, saying, You fool, you really thought you could fool me? You deserve to die. As he lifts up his finger, and suddenly, lightning had struck where Mizuki was. As he had been electrocuted to death, as Yuruka had arrived to the scene, suddenly he questioned Naruto what happened. Naruto just played it off, saying, uh, I don't know. Mizuki tried to do a jutsu in the backyard. As Naruto had said, well, don't I graduate then? As, um, as Naruto had said, I deserve my, my head name, Mizuki. Come on, man. I literally just dealt with Mizuki, even though I didn't do it with that to him, but I beat him up. As Yuruka just not saying, fine, you can have this headband. As he takes off his own and gives it to Naruto. But Naruto being proud to wear this headband. As this is where I'm going to be leaving it off, I hope you guys enjoy. Anime Sensei out.